My name is Christy Fraga from Doggy Diner. And I started with Digity Radio about a year or so ago. I decided to advertise with the Rock and Roll Diner. That went really well, and as a result of that, Mary invited me to the Smart Target Seminar. Through that seminar, she worked with me to work with a package price that was within our budget, which is odd because for a small business, normally radio would not be something that we thought would be cost effective for us, and it truly was. They did a great job of advertising our business through this. We still do weeks of advertising, and in addition to that, we do the Rock and Roll Diner as well, and we have found that we have increased our business significantly. My name is Ryan Weber. I'm with Advanced Neurology Associates. I, I first got associated with uh, the radio station back in about 2011. Rick Johnson was a patient of uh, one of our physicians, and he approached me about advertising on the stations and tried to promote different services, uh, prostate cancer, uh, anything that uh, you know would be uh, a benefit to, to our practice. Uh, I was interested in uh, promoting our vasectomies as, as they, we, we did not have a high volume of referrals for primary care physicians as we do for all of our other services here at Advanced Urology. Uh, Rick came up with a great campaign uh, to promote the vasectomies and we've increased about 15 to 20 percent each year since first airing the uh, vasectomy ads. Hi, I'm Garrett from Joliet U Bullet and uh, we started advertising last year at the convention. One of the coolest things of the radio is you know exactly when your when your ads start playing because you get more business people are calling you hey I heard your radio ad sounds awesome and it's just it's it's crazy how you can realize except like with other advertising it's really hard to realize if it's working or you know if you're wasting your money or whatever and it just seems the radio you know hey we're going on on Monday be ready to get a lot of phone calls at first we struggled with tracking our information on what was working and what wasn't we have a form online that a customer will fill out to sell us their junk vehicle and on the side just like every other major company how did you hear about us and surprisingly you wouldn't think many people would fill it out and they do and I can pull up a screen right now and it'll show you probably 80 percent of our junk car submissions on our website comes from the radio hello this is Jim Galbraith with Advantage Chevrolet of Bolingbroke we have a great relationship with Digity Radio since the very beginning. One thing about radio is it forms communications through friendships almost, for lack of a better word. I, we do internet, but the internet, can, we track internet, we track our communications through the radio, but I'll be at a golf outing and people will say, oh, we heard you on river or we heard you on 98.3 no one will ever say oh we heard you on auto trader or oh we heard you on cars.com 